Hey guys, so I have uh, this Gammon drum set that I picked up um, from an Amazon inventory like restock auction. Um, so as you already saw, I went to pick it up, I got it. Um, you put it on a cart, you walk out with it, and then um, that's it. You can check it then. And I think you're allowed to do one return um, if you work with this uh, place. Um, but yeah, so I have the drums here. I've got someone coming to pick them up tomorrow. Um, these drums sell for like 250 bucks. So I'm selling this for a hundred. Um, I paid $37. So obviously that's not a ton of money, but um, you know, it's uh, more than doubling the amount, the profit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening them up. Um, I might fast forward some of this, but I'll just go through what's um, what's in the box. Um, I don't, this guy told me he doesn't want to put heads on it. He's going to put different heads on it. So I'm more just going to show you what comes in the box when you buy a Gammon um, five piece drum set. So um, for starters, I actually just opened it up. So you, you get a um, box that has all the heads in it, the Gammon logo head. And then inside of that is every head for the toms and a snare. Um, there was, uh, I opened this up before I decided to film it. Um, there is symbols, so you have the hi-hats, um, and then one kind of crash ride sort of thing. Um, I talked about this in another video, but they're not horrible. They're, they're not good, but they're not horrible. Um, okay, um, so then we have a box, which I'll probably open these up and make sure everything's in there, but it looks like it's all here. A box with um, your bass drum pedal, you've got a product DVD and a little instruction thing, um, which is good to have. It just lets, more lets me know that this is, um, this looks brand new. Like the one I got before, which is in another video, which I'll put a link to probably a couple times in this, um, was definitely a return. Like there was duct tape on it, so it was kind of like a deal where like um, someone returned it and duct taped it and they just said screw it and then sold it on this auction site. But um, so first box, this has a bass drum pedal. Um, and then we have a snare stand in the bag, which I'll leave in the bag for now. Again, I'm just showing you what's in this stuff. Um, then I've got a ton of uh, lugs and tension rods and claws. Um, which is kind of scary because there's a hole in the box and you know you want obviously every single tension rod to be there so you don't have one missing and not have the right length like bass drum um, tension rod. So I might put these on um, just to make sure this guy gets what he's looking for. Uh, so I'll put this back in the box. Okay so that's snare stand and bass drum pedal. We've got this longer stand, which is probably a cymbal stand or two. So, whoops. Okay, so this is a cymbal uh, stand, which I think it comes with one. Uh, this is a pair of sticks, um, probably like five A's or five B's or something. Obviously, no brand or anything. Um, then we've got our, excuse me, our floor tom legs. Um, and that's it for this box. So this is the, what comes in the second little box on top there. Put this down. Okay. Now we've got another box that's probably the hi-hat stand. Let's see what we got in here. Kind of a guessing game to see if you actually get everything when you buy drums like this, but, um, you know, whatever, it's cheap. All right, so, yes, this is the hi-hat stand, base part of it, and then there is the upper part with the clutch and the actual, uh, the rod in there, so I'm going to try and probably not be able to get this back in here, but yeah, okay, so that's the second box, has hi-hat and, um, yeah, just the hi-hat. So that's the second box, labeled H on there, I don't know if that helps anyone. 
Now we've got this box that has the snare drum that is new and it has snares and the heads on it. So I'm gonna leave that in here. Um, yeah, so I'm just checking what all is here. Now there's another little box labeled S and this is probably Okay, so this is uh, bass drum feet come separate, uh, the spurs, I guess you would say, and then this is the tom mounts. So the tom mounts should be in this box uh, labeled S. So um, I will most likely set these up. Might be a separate video, but you'll find out in this video. Okay, so then. In the box, which I think you can see, we have uh, all right. Now at this point, I want to make sure there's no um, huge issues. I got one drum set, a Premier Orange Sparkle one, um, that had a massive—not a massive. It was actually not even that visible, like, but a, a spider web crack in the floor tom. So that's why it was at this auction. Um, Tom one in good shape, two rims up top. So you would take this bottom one and put it on there with the tension rods that are in this separate box. So one Tom. Now, stuff under that is the other Tom. But so here is the floor tom, which again, because it has this, like the two rims up top, it's making me think that this was just a brand new drum set because no one would take the time to put that back on like that. So I guess this is factory, you know, sealed and brand new. So floor tom is good. So inside of the, the box, it's kind of hard to show you, but it goes bass drum, floor tom, two toms stacked on top of each other, and then the, the th bottom of the throne is right over there. So um, again, looking at this, it's good, a little dusty, but it's perfect. And again, two, two rims there. All right. And on the bottom we have our throne, which when people buy these drum sets, like if I buy some drum shells, it doesn't have a throne, and that's always like kind of a pain in the butt. But um, so we got the throne. Now, here is the bass drum with, let's see, got both hoops on it. Oh man. Okay, so here is, oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus, God, no. Okay, so here's the problem, as I'm finding this out for the first time. Uh, this has, the bass drum has a gouge in it. Um, let's see if I can show you that. So it's kind of hard to see, but let's see if I can zoom. focus going there. So yeah, you can see there that that is a gouge in the drum, where then on top of it, it has, get the focus going there, come on autofocus, it has uh, punctured through and popped up that. So, um, uh, so that, well, let me zoom you back out here. Um, so that sucks. Um, that is the problem. So that's why these drums were thirty-seven dollars. Um, uh, honestly, for a hundred dollars, only three hundred bucks. That's probably not going to be a deal breaker. Um, this guy tomorrow was giving me a hundred dollars plus three MIJ. He said thirties or forties shells, which I don't know if they were making Japanese drums in the thirties or forties, but. That is not good. 
There's always something. There's literally always something wrong. It's definitely a gamble to buy these drums, but I might even hit that with some glue and just try and get the, um, that to, and here's the, the last thing in the box is the um, stand for the throne, which we have the base of over here. So, um, yeah, so that's everything that comes in the box when you buy the Gammon drum set. You get a uh, broken bass drum. Um, no, I'm kidding. You get a bass drum, two toms, a floor tom, a snare, pedals, all your accessories, a throne, um, and uh, all that stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to probably get them set up here in a second, but um, yeah, so thanks for checking out this video of unboxing and seeing what's inside of a Gammon five-piece drum set. I definitely recommend the drums. Be careful if you buy them from some sort of auction site where it's like a restock or overstock thing, because that's the problem. There is always an issue like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to figure this out here in a second. I'll catch up with you guys later.